Anytime they, anytime they get something before they'll even eat it, usually they'll hide it. Uh -huh. This is Rasputin. This is the one that tore my wife and I up. The little baby in here. And this is Misty. She's just about as handleable as Vixen is, except I don't handle her right now because he is more aggressive. So this is her baby? Yes. And she, he was raised by her. He was raised by her. Oh. And this one's a brother to the one that I have at home. You're kidding. Nope. So why did you let that happen? Uh, don't do that. Not with him. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you decide? Uh, to do that? There was because uh, we were going to keep. We we were keeping two males. We're going to breed this one oh, I see. with her over there, or maybe with her down there. Um, and then that uh, the one he's got up at the house, the gray one. I don't know if we'll breed it or not because it's gray, but yeah, cool. she's pretty. Yeah, so he's. I mean, he's without he's being man. from the wild. He is as wild as it gets. He's just we don't handle him. Right. Yeah. I'm starting to getting broke for handling during feeding times. I bring uh, right. a two and a half gallon bucket with feed out, and I'll open the door, and all you'll see is a fox butt in the and he'll have his tail spinning and I'll pet him while he's in there just to get him uh -huh. started breaking to where he can be handled yeah, and he's doing pretty good he's still pretty skittish did you start with kitten again? still got kittens? one one left huh? <laughs> nice work yes you're spoiled and this one's baby girl. She is, she is as unhandleable as Wiley over there. <laughs> but unlike Wiley, when I put feed in, I always take the cup over. I, I use a little household cup to fill these little feeders, and I will stick the cup in there, and she'll come up and eat out of the cup. Ah. Uh, she loves to come up and steal anything you leave loose. Uh, she usually has at least one cup running around her pen where she'll come up, and if she doesn't. If you get hey, something girl. different in there, like I mix bacon grease in once in a while with mm -hmm. your feed, she'll take the whole cup and hide it. Hey, baby girl. It's amazing how much personality difference there oh. is between <laughs> all of them. I tell you, animals are just like humans when it comes to personality. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They are. Hey, girl. Our German Shepherd, my daughter in Columbus, had him. Well, it's actually, it was her dog. And then we got him when he was two years old because she moved. That the one she that moved she down around the school or something? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She moved uh, from grad school to a permanent type job in uh, at Oklahoma State. Mm. And he got real depressed. Yeah. Being gone. She was gone all day. And yeah. he had been raised next to the barn at West Texas A&M. She was the barn manager when she oh, was in so grad school. Oh, so he had lots of attention oh, all the time. Oh, cowgirls and cowboys. Yeah. He got real depressed, and she said the vet told her that he had some weird disease and needed to be put down. I said, no, we're not doing that. So we no. went and got him, and we've so had him for four disease. years. He was just depressed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, but she called me this spring and she said, Mom, could I have him for a little while because there, she was getting harassed by somebody. And she said, I just feel Squirt. like I'd feel better yeah. if he was sure. around. So, when she got, so when she get off work, she'd take him for a run and then throw the, take him off the leash and throw, she lives in a kind of a outside of, or right on the edge of Columbus and they have a wooded area back of her apartments. She'd throw the ball and take him off the leash and she said after about four times that you know he'd lay down with the ball yeah and and she said if i if we didn't go for a long run then we get back to the apartment he was a wild man for another hour yeah oh, so yeah. she said i thought well by golly you're going to get worn out so she'd run up to him <laughs> grab the ball throw it again and then after about three times he started growling at her when she'd come up to him and she threw the ball he picked the ball up, ran over on the other side, got the, put the ball down, picked the leash up in his mouth, picked the ball up in his mouth, and ran two blocks to the apartment. <laughs> Forget I'm it. I'm not playing I'm you done. anymore. Yeah, take me home. Yeah. These guys. Yeah, a wild Vixen's getting ready to go out on the leash. 